Not so right in here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Dailies. Sorry I didn't manage to do the one yesterday. I had, um, I got called into a really weird shift that wound up screwing up my ability to come back and do this at a decent time. High Priestess, get some money and a bomb. Hopefully I won't accidentally kill myself walking into a blood bank this time. <clears throat> because it's not like I was like, oh, I've got Holy Mantle, maybe I'll be able to get money without losing uh, you know, the heart. It was just me uh walking too close while trying to place a bomb. Alright, plenty of bombs on this first floor. Unfortunately, this is the one character where they are significantly less useful. Okay, Shiny Rock is the one that finds crawl spaces. And Tinted Rocks, for that matter. Meh. Alright, there are... Yeah, either of those could be the secret room. Guessed right. No keys, though. So my ability to... I think that would have killed me. I wish it had been the one adjacent to the shop, because then I could get in and buy a key and hopefully, like, get it, uh, what do you say, um, going so I could then use a key to open the Is there no item room? It doesn't have the no item room, like, logo. What's going on? Dang it. I was obviously hoping to get a key out of it. I guess I just chose the wrong one. The Lost is difficult enough when you can get item rooms. Ooh, jeez. I was too busy watching the foot come down. I don't know if I've ever seen this room with the rocks here. Speed and shot speed isn't terribly helpful. when they're charging and you shoot them and it deflects them the same direction you're dodging, on the other hand, that's a huge problem. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Okay. There's a key. Grab some money. No, thank you. Bad gas is mostly irrelevant. Definitely gonna use my key on the shop this time. At least the, you know, double damage they do doesn't matter. And I can shoot through this pod. Okay. Jeez. Barely dodged that. Okay. Oh yeah, I fought Pin in the trap room, not the boss room last floor. no item rooms yet, you know, the whole run, I guess. Really. <sighs> okay. Take that and that. Here, exactly what I spent to get that into that chest. No good place for a secret room. Oh, I didn't even mean to walk into that, but it doesn't really matter. It's like, what, 20 points or something I lose? Money. Oh, and I get into the shop or library for free. Cool. Hello Flies is actually really useful, and holy cow, that took a lot. I wonder what book I would have gotten. I mean, Book of Belial might be the only one that I would have to have over a halo of flies. Because normally the ones you're looking for, you know, Satanic Bible, Book of Revelations, they are useless to the um, lost. Okay, we're already going all the way down, so no point to buying the shovel. 
Bob's brain seems good because I haven't found a damage up yet. So many of these rooms are, I mean, like, okay, generally, uh, like rooms are going to be easier if you can fly. You know, no one argues that. But it just seems like there's a higher, I'm seeing if I get points for this, um, percent of rooms that are like significantly better AWAS is something non-champion ones too, mind you. Alright, even if I get hit by Bob's brain here... Yeah, I was gonna say, even if I get hit by Bob's brain, I still, uh... I'm fine because I hadn't gotten hit and lost Holy Mantle yet. Darn, I was hoping to hit the Invisible One. likely, because that halves your chance of getting uh, good items. Especially, yeah, the only way I'm getting active items, although I guess with chaos, I can possibly get it other ways. Alright, these guys are going to be pain in the butt. Fire. Okay, good. Why does Bob's brain seem to sometimes uh, poison and sometimes not? Okay, lost holy mantle. 
survived anyway. Good. Okay, squeeze these tears up at least. Get like one or two points each for those. Buckle in, boys. This could be a long one. Screw it. I keep forgetting how much freaking health the stupid fat bats have. How they just kind of... They've got like a reverse soul effect. Where they drift out of your... Uh, line of fire. Instead of the tears... You know, drifting out away from them. Like they move away from the tears instead of the tears moving away from them. Alright, there's the shop. That didn't kill him. I dodged, but I figured that uh, heading into the, or, you know, leaving the room to get, to make sure Holy Mantle was still doing its thing would be good. Dry baby and ghost baby from the skulls. Awesome, I did get dry baby. There might be a special room up here somewhere. Huh, oh, dry baby's already done his thing. I could I had gotten hit already. Okay. Whatever. That's why I got nine lives. Yeah, I didn't think I had already gotten hit in that room. Whatever. Like I was saying, at least I could fly, so if keys drop I can down is terrible. Right. Oh, 
least I have a charge for the Necronomicon. Odds are it's not going to do a whole lot against an enemy in this floor, but... Okay. That and the fact that I think, like, does Dry Baby literally use the Necronomicon? When he, you know, whenever he pop, you know, goes off, does his thing, whatever you want to call it. All over. HP up. So that's unfortunate because despite the goat head, I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to miss a, a devil room. Okay. I should have used the Alga's room and the Temperance card on the last floor. <sighs> okay, apparently Blue Baby was in the middle of... Or not Blue Baby, Dry Baby was in the middle of getting hit there. When I died. Why are we suddenly running into little haunts everywhere? Thank you for Holy Mantle. Alright, Bob's Brain. Hide. Alright. Wait for that to get out of the way. And now, fire Bob's Brain. I forgot Halo of Flies does damage to flies that get near you. I don't think it does damage to anything else, though, if I remember right. Might be thinking of, like, the original Binding of Isaac or something. 
then maybe they do very small, you know, contact damage to anything run into, but who knows. I'm still taking three shots to kill a pooter. In case you hadn't, you know, noticed. Oh yeah, it's Exxon. Taking three shots to kill dips. really sad when, like, every room, I'm like, man, I wish I could take the Necronomicon for this. Or I wish I'd gone back for that, you know, 48-hour energy pill, so I could use the Necronomicon here. <sighs> this is why I wasn't actively looking for the shop. So I figured it was better than even odds that it was going to fight greed and... Dang it. Now, see, if you'd given me something good, I wouldn't have minded so much. I just forgot that I had a... Key bomb. No. If I die on this room... I 
guess I go down to the trap room and do the boss, because there's a chance I can get an item in the trap room. Like I said. Oh, some of the crap. One more time, hopefully. These things. What I hit is the unpredictability of where the bullets come from. Where I'm going, not just the map. Oh, wait. I've been to the secret room. Holy crap, I am an idiot. This is the super secret room. I forgot Ansa shows you. up here so I don't have just mess around with the tractor beams. Or gravity generators or whatever you want to call them. reaction so I don't need to worry about the boom fly. The stupid boom fly is gonna take like eight hits to four, five, six. Curse of the tower? Man, I think that's basically just a death sentence. If I hadn't taken Chaos and gotten 9 lives, I would have died 
so many times. Of course, then there's also the question of if I hadn't taken Chaos, what boss items would I have gotten? <sighs> Son of a crap. I just need to knock it blindsided by enemies popping up too close. the goathead used to make you immune to moms stomping on you or something? Oh jeez, I almost hit myself with Bob's brain there. No Kernomicon. already done more damage than I did like the whole like 45 second previous try. I was going to say, I just can't get enough shots on target there before he uh, gets back up. What hit me? I don't even know what hit me there. Do I use bombs? The problem is I'm just going to hit myself with them. Okay. There were four body segments out there. Baby's actually helping this time, like he hadn't been getting hit at all before this try. Curse the Labyrinth. Crap. 
I guess let's see if he can give me the map or the compass. Gives, if he gives me health, it'll be good. Although, oh, chaos affects him too, apparently. But yeah, that's my first damage upgrade. for watching. Like and subscribe if you would, and I will see you guys tomorrow.